So I was down here making my lunch and I have been wanting to make the crispy tofu so you guys can see how it's done. I know a bunch of you had Kickstarters have made it. It is so delicious, it is so easy to make and I just want you to see how tofu can be just so quick and simple to put together and maybe a little different than you may think of it. Now I know a lot of our Kickstarters have already made this crispy tofu and a lot of our members. I know I've seen you commenting that I love the tofu. It's something different that I never thought I would be able to create with tofu. Um, I was the same. I sort of had an aversion to it at first because typically in a restaurant, you'd have them like in these big giant chunks. And I mean, I still kind of eat it like that sometimes, but like now that I know and love it in so many different ways, I actually do like it like that sometimes because I love the taste now. But anyway, at first that was a little much and it might be for you too if you're not familiar with it. So I wanted to show you like the entire process so you kind of get it. Okay, so this is how you typically buy it in a big block. Um, this is 14 ounce block. And then it comes in this water that it's soaking in. So it kind of like preserves it and keeps it nice and fresh. So you, when you cut it open, you really want to rinse that water off well. It's just a little bit. You might be able to see it. Um, just rinse it really well. And that's what I've done. So here, mine actually comes already separated, the kind that I like to buy. Phoenix Bean or Jenny's, they sell this at Whole Foods. They're also at my farmer's market, so that, that's where I pick up mine most of the time. But anyway, it might be sold like this in a big block, but this brand just kind of chunks it out. Do you want to wrap it in a clean dish towel? Really, as best you can. And this is like a little bit of a thinner, like a tea towel. So just wrap it up like that. And then I like to put some heavy cookbooks on it. These are just some old cookbooks. I collect them. I have so many from over the years. But these are nice and heavy ones. And then you just leave it like that. So now all the water will be squeezed out of it and it will sort of like drain. And especially the way I'm gonna cook it because I wanna get it really nice and crispy in the oven. I want it to be as dry as possible. So I say at least 20 minutes in all the recipes, but I may go a little longer just because I want this really nice and dry. So I'm just gonna leave it and then um, I'll come back for the next step. Okay, so my tofu has been draining for about oh, 25, 30 minutes. Okay, and looks the same, but I can tell it's a little bit more dry. So I'll just pat it out a little bit. So for something like our crispy tofu salad, I kind of like it, the tofu in little, uh, little cubes, like we were talking about before. They're just a little puffy. They're like little puff balls, but like with a crispy edge. And they're not super, super crispy. They're just crispy on the outside. But I also like to snack on them really, really crispy. So if you cut them thinner, they, they crisp up really, really nicely. So I'm gonna do both just to show you the difference. So I'm gonna make, just, I'm gonna snack on all these. I don't really have a recipe in mind, but like I would just cut these into maybe like this, cubes like that. They still look pretty big, but maybe like one inch cubes toss them in my bowl. I'm going to do a couple like this. Cut there, there. How about one more? I really do like those little puff balls. Okay, that's it. So this is one block of tofu. And then for these, I am going to just slice them. Phil was making fun of my last shot because I have a tendency to move quickly in the kitchen. So I do not take this much care when I'm cooking for myself because I don't really care if they're a little bit thin or a little bit thick. But just for my baby brother, there you have it. Pretty nicely cut. This is dressed. So I'll throw those in my bowl and I will do this one just as carefully. We want them, I don't know, what would you say about a quarter of an inch? Just pretty, pretty thin, like that. So those are gonna get nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna add all of these to a bowl and then 
we just add one tablespoon of tamari. I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it around so we coat like every last one of them, or try to. And then two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Let me just wipe that a little bit, okay. And I just like to spread it evenly, the first tablespoon. And then, like a real chef, <laughs> toss them around so they get, whoop, so they get nice and coated. And then I like to do the second tablespoon. See, this is fun. Isn't this fun? It's <laughs> the fun part. Make sure they all get nice and coated. There we go. Give them a little shake and a toss. Okay, that is it. Now, oh, 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 oh. I already preheated my oven to 425. And what you wanna do is put the top rack on the very, very tippy top rack. So it's nice and high. And that's how these get really, really crispy. So I forget to do that sometimes, then I have to kind of move the racks around while they're hot. So try to remember to do that first before you preheat your oven. So now I just want to take these and what I like to do is kind of pick up some of this nice stuff. So that stuff gets nice and brown, that saucy stuff here. So I'm just going to evenly place these. How about if I do all these little cubes on one side Scrape up some of that goodness while I do this. I mean, this is could not be easier. And this is such a tasty little snack. Um, it's really nice to have these in the fridge just to pop on stir fries or salads, like our crispy tofu salad. Um, like I said, we just like to snack on these. Yes, they will get, they'll lose their crispiness as they sit in the oven. And I think somebody said they did this this week. Somebody in our group said, I just popped them right back into the oven or toaster oven and yeah, they crisp right back up. Whatever you're making, if you're down making lunch or you know, just anything else you're making, you could just quickly whip up a batch of these like I did when you're doing other things. Oh, and then a parchment paper lined baking sheet or a silicone baking mat like I have here. That's it. Now I'm going to pop them in the oven for 20 minutes. And then you could either eat them right then. I'll show you what they look like after 20. They're a little bit on the soft side, but sometimes they're just good like that. Like I like them like that over a salad. They're just a little bit squishy and crispy or leave them in longer and they get really crispy. So I might take this side out, leave that side in, but I'll see. Okay. So here is 20 minutes. Look at how nice and crispy. That's really hot. It's kind of, squishy so what i say in the recipe is to flip these over my hands have touched so many hot things i don't even use tongs i feel like my hands are calloused over but whew, this one's getting hot <laughs> um so i just flip them over and toss them back in now these look really good to me so i might just take these off right now maybe another minute but these i want to get nice and crispy so i'm flipping these over that's really too hot wow okay flipping these over really quickly and i'm going to pop them back in maybe another 20 i probably will take these out after five they're looking good so that was just a quick little tofu demo. I hope you try it.